Now, so here we are, we're ready to start our overprint. Um, I've got the black lino block printing ink. And I'm going to do exactly the same steps as I did for my first print. Um, put some of the ink out across the top. Get my roller, which I've cleaned. Just quickly make sure there's no dust. Pull my ink down. Now, in the previous video, we went through making sure that, you know, you don't have too much ink down there. Um, I went through how to do this, where I'm placing my two fingers into the two dimples on the roller or the brayer. And push down straight and get it to go up. Okay, so you're using your roller like a squeegee more than a roller. Now... So, there's that nice tacky nice. And you can see, if I bring it up closer, that those little texture line marks are quite close together. They're not really far apart. Okay, so there are telltale signs that we have a good amount of ink, but not too much. Okay, now, the next part is to clean it down. So... You are going to use soapy water um, and just wash it down and dry it off. Now I know it's clean, there's hopefully going to be no fingerprints coming up. Um, and we're going to apply the ink. So you can see that so far the ink has gone on really well. There's no bits where it's not um, sitting on top of. Okay. Now, um, the next step that we're going to do is just move the ink plate to the side. Over way a bit so I can show you what we need to do next to set this up. Um... So what you want to do now is make sure that you have your print and your lino block mirroring each other. So basically that they're opposites. So what you're going to do in the next step is place this on top of this first print. Um, and I can see that this section is here. It's closer. It's going to line up. Um, whereas these sections you're going to line up there okay so I know that this is the right way around if you're doing this and you're not 100% sure um, call me and I'll come I'll help you through and we'll get it done together okay now what I'm going to do is start at the bottom and line up my bottom two corners Okay, and then I'm just putting it onto the sheet carefully. Okay. Now, carefully I'm going to flip this over so that I can rub it like we did the first time. Sorry. So, let me rub. And I can do the same thing as I did on the first print and just peel back a little bit. So I can see that there's places where the ink has really covered it really well. Um, I might not have just rubbed enough. So you can see a little bit more ink went on. Then you can decide if you want to just quickly apply another layer of ink. So that's what I'm going to do. So I apply it there to that side. Give it a good rub again. Try to get all that black ink on. 
Now I'm just going to peel this back. I'm being really careful not to hit my roller off um, my sheet of paper. Otherwise you just end up with a black line across. Now any sections where you have cut through the lino block completely and there's no actual lino where you're rubbing, just be really careful that you don't rub too hard and get a hole in your sheet of paper. Um, now, I'm ready to pull this back. Okay. So if we look at that, right now you can see Sorry, I turn it this way. Oh no, right, okay. So you can see, um, no, nope. this way. We've got a mirror image again, okay. So you can see um, kind of what has happened. There is some faulty bits, um, that's okay, you know. Um, there's a bit here obviously where I hit the liner, lino roller off it. So that's what I mean, be super careful Otherwise you'll end up with a line across. There's bits here that are picking up the black ink from the lino. That's okay. Um, and there's a bit of dirt that has managed somehow to creep its way into the printing ink as well or onto the block. Or maybe it's just a little blotch. Okay, so what you can do is, um, I don't have any here, but what you can do is on little parts like this, you can get a little Q-tip or a cotton wool bud, some people call them, and just um, cover in parts like that. So I'm going to see um, what might work for me. What I have here. What I have here is a little paintbrush. So I can just kind of cheat. and paint in over any of those black areas. So if you dab it, it kind of gives the impression of the lino printing. Okay, so you can always touch up your prints like that. Um, you can't undo anything, unfortunately, but you can touch up bits where there's been little nicks. You'll see there's another little nick there from the very first cut, because it's still white. So if I wanted, I could come along with my paintbrush and just put some of the ink over that. Little section, just try and keep it the same texture so it doesn't kind of stick out when it is finished. Okay. So there's just some little tips, little things that can go wrong and how to fix them. Um, if you want to just look at what a second layer of ink can do to a print, there you go. Um, if I put them the same way around, that will help. So you can see that the two color print is a lot more impressive. Okay, you've got a lot more um, contrast between the black and the red. What the black is doing is actually making these little sections pop out. Okay, it's adding a bit of extra interest in as well because you've got these lines and different kind of colours of lines going across. And I suppose this section here where we left it red in the first cut is this section here. And then tuck out, it's just adding something different. Okay. Um, we've got a little bit of balance going on then as well with the white areas that are kind of balancing out things as well. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you do want to pick a different kind of way of doing it and work from a photograph or um, work from an image you found on the internet, that is perfectly fine. Um, you can do that as well. Okay, but just these are the techniques so you can use them now however you want once you end up with a lino print, okay?